Welcome back to News Plus, I'm Mark Seagraves, and now it's time for our entertainment critic, Willie Wapple. This week, Willie sits down with one of the actors of the new Coen Brothers film. Willie talks with Oscar Isaac. So joining us today is the star of the new Coen Brothers movie, Inside Lewin Davis, Mr. Oscar Isaac. Thank you for joining us on News Plus. Thanks for having me here. And are you exhausted yet? I mean, it's, it, this has been like a year-long process, you know, making the movie, going through the film festivals. Now, you know, the movie's just finally starting to come out. You know, at this point, where are you emotionally? Well, it's actually almost been almost two years since really? we shot the film. So it, it's, it's, been a long, it's been a long time, but I don't want to let it go. You know, it's the, been the most amazing experience of my entire life, so uh, it's the thing I'm most proud of. Well, and, you know, no pressure. Your name is Oscar in your Coen Brothers movie. So there's no expectations here, right? <laughs> you know, like, all the buzz has already started. You know, it's been getting great, great, great acclaim. I mean, it's a very good movie. It's a, it's a really great movie. And, and tell people a little bit, you know, what Inside Lewin Davis really is. It's a, it's a week in the life, a very difficult week in the life of this uh, aspiring folk musician in 1961 Greenwich Village, New York at the, at the boom of the great folk scare, uh, the, the great folk revival. And he's, um, he's trying to, to make his way through, through this really tough week in his life. And it, it's the, the classic um, beautiful world view of the Coens, the absurdity and despair of existence. And it, it has all the humor and pathos that, that you come to expect in, his, in, in their films. But um, I think there's a particular um, extra jolt of emotion in it because it, it's, it's one of their only films they've shot in New York and they're New Yorkers. And you can really see the love of not only the city but of the music come through. And, and again about the music, it's also a concert film. There's uh, full beautiful old folk songs um, reimagined by the cast and by T-Bone Burnett who produced the, the, movie, uh, the music for the movie. And uh, they're played in their entirety and all live. Um, singing, playing all live from start to finish. You know, and I was going to say, you're a pretty gutsy guy. You're singing live with Justin Timberlake. You know, you're out there acting in a Coen Brothers movie. There's like no challenge you're afraid of, is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was definitely throwing, into, throwing myself into the deep end yeah. and, uh, and, and, and having to swim and, and, and what a wonderful pool to be thrown into. Yeah. Yeah. How did the whole process go? How did you get involved? You know, how hard did you fight for this? Yeah, well, there's a reason. It's because they set the stage for people to just knock it out of the park. It, everything about, I mean, the script, the characters that they surround, the, you know, that, 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 that populate this world, uh, their management of tone, everything is set up uh, for you to do your best work. And, and it's an incredibly relaxed uh, set. I, I heard that they were doing a movie about the folk scene. Uh, in, in New York and they're my favorite filmmakers and I play music, I've been playing for almost 20 years so I knew that this was the thing for me and I needed to get at least a shot at it. And so I, I went in for the casting director and auditioned and, and uh, recorded a song, sent that in, they saw it and they thought it was good enough to bring me in. And I noticed you actually like arranged a little bit of, of the song a lot that of you it. sang. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the, what I ended up gravitating to the most. That first song that I had to audition with was called "Hang Me" yeah. uh, by Dave. It was a Dave Van Ronk arrangement. They're all old folk songs. One, two, three, four. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One second, please. Please, Mr. Kennedy. I'm fine. I don't wanna go. Don't you show me in the outer space. Oh, please. please, Mr. Kennedy. You know, it is this tragic story, also a comic mm. story, but it's almost the struggle of the dreamer. Like, yeah. you know, your character, Lewin Davis, you know, he's really kind of facing the big decision I think almost all of us have to face. You know, when am I going to give up the dream? How much further can I go? How much more junk can I take? And, you know, I imagine, you know, being an actor, you've, you've probably faced that decision at some point in your life. Absolutely. You know, you, particularly as an actor, but I think any artist has to face a lot of rejection, uh, particularly because it's just a sub, such a subjective thing that you're doing. You know, there's, you can't really quantifiably say, this is good. You know, some people might think it's great and some people don't, and, and it's a numbers game to a certain extent. And so, so I think you're absolutely right. It, it, it's set in the folk world, but it, it's really about the journey of an artist trying to find his authentic voice and be true to some sense of who he is. So now what's going to be next? Because obviously there's going to be a lot of tux fittings for the awards season, but <laughs> what, what are you working on now that you know we're going to be seeing soon? Well, I've got a few movies coming out next year. Yeah, um, uh, there's a really interesting one by Alex Garland who, who 
wrote Sunshine and a lot of other great Danny Boyle movies, a sci-fi writer, and it's his directorial debut, and um, that's uh, about a, a genius billionaire programmer uh, who has tucked himself away in his, in his estate and invites an employee, very Willy Wonka style, to come test his newest invention, which is an artificial robot. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Everybody yeah. can see Inside Lewin Davis in theaters right now and get used to seeing Oscar Isaac around. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Willie. When News Plus returns, we talk to one of the experts about the flu.